In this episode of The Shadows Project, I chat with Michael Benton. Michael is regarded by many experts as one of America's greatest ever amateur boxers. As a professional, he went on to become the heavyweight champion of the world before moving on to a career in writing and acting. Okay, gotcha, Tim. Michael Benton. Yes, oh I'm here, God. brother. I'm stuck. There we go. Oh, ah. shit. I want to start. Well, part of my language. <laughs> it's okay. What that? Any, any any language is okay on this channel. Yeah. Well, yeah. you are British, man. So, like, you know, you guys can drop massive f bombs. <laughs> Do you know what? I got I got the time wrong, yeah. And I've been waiting. For the, really? I've been waiting for an hour, yeah. And then, right, gotcha. and then I was all I was already drunk, and then I had this bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah. So now, so now I'm totally drunk. <laughs> Listen, okay. So, like, I had like maybe like. 12 bottles of wine yeah. across the room. No, no, I have like two bottles of wine. I'm a wine guy. What kind of wine are you drinking? Merlot. I'm drinking a nice, a nice uh, one from Tuscany. Yeah. Tuscany. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful, <laughs> man, honestly. <laughs> That's fantastic, bro. I mean, you're in Italy, so like, you know, listen, let it go, right? Yeah. So any, any wine, I'm like, That's, that's fantastic. Any wine I, I drink. And like you know, every right. everyone, like, oh, that's fantastic. I'm like, I don't, I'm not like a wine connoisseur, but like everything tastes amazing. Right. To me. Yeah. But yeah. Hey, I know I do that. I get you. I get yeah, it. Yeah. So I got a line. I got my I got my lighting perfect and everything. And I was like, where the where the fuck's Michael Benz here? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I and then, and then, and then, and then I checked. I, and then I, ch- I checked online, and I was like, oh, yeah. I'm an hour early. So then I started drinking more. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, man? Yeah, anyway, you okay? I'm fa- no, I'm, I'm fantastic, but I'm fantastic, man. I love the background stuff, man. Yeah, man. This is everything yeah. for me. This is everything. Nice. That, everything that's that's. Well, it's not everything that's brilliant about you, because you know the most important thing right. about you is that you're a, a, a nice guy, man. Honestly, like from what I've seen about you, I've always thought that you're a tell nice my guy. that shit, please. <laughs> 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 edit, edit that part out, man. <laughs> so, no. well, everything that's publicly brilliant about you, let's say. Okay. So we've got Felix Savon, we've got like, you know, the, the document right. cool losers, yeah. which is totally inappropriately named, but obviously that was the point, you know. And we've got, you know, obviously your world championship, former heavyweight champion right. of the world, yeah. Who's so like, you know, sort of like I, I said that to you, I'd, I'd prefer to look at the Tommy Monison fight where you won the championship, yeah. you know, because I'm an optimist yeah. and you said, look at the Herbie Hyde fight where I got beat. Yeah. So that kind of like just, I don't know, I, feel, I think you're down on yourself, man, you know what I mean? But no, anyway. no, but like, I'm always dark, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, you know, you yeah. know, like, I mean, like, you know, I, mean, like, you know, I just like, you know, um, at this stage of my life, honestly, bro, like, I just don't care. Yeah. You know, in the positive sense of not caring, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, yeah. um, but like, you know, it's, 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 you know, to get to this place, like, you know, it's been like, you know, a massive journey, like, you know, and, uh, I appreciate where I am now. Cause I can like, you know, I can look at the Herbie High fire now. Exactly. Like, you know, 25 years ago, I couldn't. Yeah. So I was ashamed. Yeah. With, the, with, the, with the Herbie High fight, man, just, just ignore it. <laughs> but, but it, 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 but no, 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 but what I mean is it, it took, it, right. the, the focal point, what I wanted to start with was the writing, yeah. So yeah, the writing is like the the, the sort of like uh, right sort That's of it. like between two worlds, you know, between it like the insecure yes. Michael, Michael Benz who was kind of like That's he right. the bottle of he didn't know That's know right. himself, and then the new Michael Benz who knew everything yeah. about you know. So if we start from there, yeah, and then work backwards, you know. So that's the, that to me that was the pinnacle of like yeah most important point of the turning point the arc of the story yeah. no, no that's right that's yeah. it yeah. yeah yeah but like you know the thing is though like you know what you're saying uh, is interesting too because like you know um, that that um, transition I made from boxing to writing mm-hmm. boxing didn't teach me that yeah yeah yeah. Exactly. Support, like, support, yeah, man. Yeah, exactly, yeah, you know, yeah. boxing doesn't teach you that shit. No, 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 no. People outside of boxing, like, you know, who you encounter and they become your allies, they teach you that. Mm-hmm. You know, your guy, Freddie Burkham. Well, Thomas for me, for, for me I, I, I thought you were 
always that maybe yeah because when you when you, for me yeah when yeah. i was watching your like this documentary and thinking about you maybe you yeah. were always you were always the writer yeah and right. like and like, exactly. and like this was always the real you you know yeah and then right. and then everything else was due to circumstances around you that kind of got pushed upon you yeah so to people who to people yeah. who don't know you yeah uh, if we start, right. if we start at the beginning, yeah. So with boxing, right, right, you right. Had your father, who was like a powerful influence, you know. Right, and he you know, you know, negative and weirdly positive in some ways. Right, <laughs> yeah. You know, because yeah. sometimes, sometimes the worst, the darkest influences are the most, the most powerful, and they can like push you in a certain direction. Yeah, so, look, I get that. Yeah, that's uh, right. So, people are complex, man. I get yeah, like, you know, I get like, you know, I get those experiences now, like, you know, and I appreciate like, you know, um, those experiences, like, you know, from that stage, but like, you know, um, uh, uh, I appreciate like, you know, um, you know, when people like interact with um, someone who's like, you know, 22 years old or 29 years old, like, you know, I just had like a, he just experienced a, a, a four or five day concussion you know, in a boxing match, man, and you go back overseas and you're embraced by somebody because they like, they see what you really have to offer. Yeah. Like, that's that's fucking beautiful, bro. Yeah. And yeah, these people yeah. like didn't look like me. Thomas Hauser is a Jewish cat. You know, Bert yeah. Bert Sugar is like yeah. Bert Sugar, Bert Sugar, Boxing Illustrated, yeah. Years ago, yeah, he was just charismatic yes. guy. You know what I mean? But like, yes, that's a really, you know. But this this to me, like, this was the turning point, yeah. In your life, you know, you had this. You had this article in a magazine. Uh, right, the, the anatomy of a knockout. Anatomy of a knockout. Right, yeah. that's right. That's and, right. Then, and this was the turning point in your life. Yeah, can you just talk? Let me about tell you a story about that. Okay, go on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, once again, like you know, when I mentioned, like you know, that uh, these people didn't look like me. I mean, of course they're human beings, but like you know, they're like you know Europeans, right? Yeah. Blah yeah. blah blah. But like you know, and uh, you know, but I've learned that shit doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It, it doesn't matter at all. If know. if you have a person, uh, my acting coach in LA, uh, Jewish cat from the Bronx, fierce as hell, mm -hmm. and if he believes in you, he's going to drive you, and that's what we need as human beings. Yeah, yeah. Acceptance of like you know he's not this guy's not trying to dominate me. My father tried to dominate me mm -hmm. because of his own like you know inferiority complexes. Mm -hmm. But if you get inside of, if you get in the space of like you know, the right teacher or instructor, he'll yeah. make you fly, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what I loved, what I loved, you said something about like, yeah, about like uh, boxers, the, 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 the greatest liars in the world, yeah. They well, we are. Themselves, yeah. No, that's but, right. Like, but right. But we don't. But, but yeah. like they, they, they sort of like you know they dismiss pain and things like that. Of we're, course, we're, yeah. right, we're writers. Writers embrace pain. Yeah. Damn. And, and, and oh, this, 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 this is this is what really, really yes. so they caught fire with me. I was like, yes, really interested right. in speaking to you because I was like, because I watched you when I was young. When I watched you in ninety, I watched you in nineteen ninety three, yeah. when you won a, a title like, against Tommy Morrison, yeah, yeah, and you dismissed yeah. this like it's like it's nothing, yeah. You became the heavyweight champion of the world in nineteen ninety three, yeah, but yeah. then, but this this whole thing is nothing. Compared to your writer's journey, exactly, and that's, that's right. That's amazing, exactly. you know? right? You know, you know, you know say something like, I'm like, you know, not to cut you, not to cut you yeah, off. No, no, no. Like, we're both drunk, so yeah. like, which is all good. No, <laughs> but, but no, like, you're, 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 drunk, you're drunk at one a.m. So you're, you're. <laughs> good point. Touche, 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 touche. But like you know, um, uh, you know, you mentioned the turning point, man. Yeah. And for yeah. me, like you know, the true turning point was when um. Because my manager at that time, Stan Hoffman, you know, he was trying to like he was trying to look out for me, and uh, he made me an assistant trainer of like uh, some of the boxers he was um, handling as pros from uh, Holland, right? Mm -hmm. So we're over in Holland, man, and one of your British um, um, August uh, reporters, um, Freddie Burkham, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Stan Hoffman said to me like, you know, Mike, there's a reporter who wants to have a word with you, like you know, downstairs. Okay, great. It's like, you know, he wants to do like this, uh, like, where are they now piece? You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, it's yeah. just bullshit. 
you know. <laughs> so I go into the room, man, and for these like sitting behind the chair, blah blah blah. And he could tell, like, you know, he could he could tell that I didn't want to be in that space. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to be like, you know, be around boxes, but like, you know, stands like, you know, I'm loyal to Stan. I don't want to be there, right? And he says to me, okay, Mike, like, you know, you don't want to be here, do you? I'm like, no, nah, hell no. Nope. Yeah. And he says, and he says, what do you want to do? And I say to him, what you're doing? He says, writing? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and he said, well, like, st- start writing. Bam. Yep. That's beautiful, man. So you, you, yeah. you, you, wrote beautiful. This, you wrote this article, you know, the anatomy of a knockout. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I always talk about writers, where, where they come from, you know, like mm-hmm. there's writers come from like obsession with like a sport, mm-hmm. for example. Like my, my, my obsession with writing came from the Ring magazine, Muhammad Ali. Uh, there, was a, there, was a, there was an article in Ring magazine years ago. And it talked about, uh, I can't remember the exact, you know, publication, but it was like, yeah. uh, it said something like uh, Sugar A. Leonard or, you know, Marvin Hagler was at a ringside. He held his head in his hands. It was when, uh, it was when Muhammad Ali fought uh, Larry Holmes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Or, or Berbic. One of the last fight, right. Berbic, yeah. I think it was, yeah. And it said, uh, it said like Sugar A. Leonard held his head in his hands, you know, Thomas yeah. Hearns, you know. Looked forlorn or upset or whatever. Right. Said, the clock yeah. took twelve, and the legend of Muhammad Ali had died. Yeah, and you know and, what? And, and it, was, it, was, it was very, sim- it was very simple writing. Yeah, and it was yes. like, but it was like really just poignant. It was really just hit me in the heart. I was, I was only a kid, and I was like, I was like, you know, the legend of Muhammad Ali had died. Right. Obviously, the struck my the, the clock. Might not have struck twelve. <laughs> that might have been. No, right. I got you. I got but you. I was like, who was the author of that piece? I can't remember, man. It was just. It was just in like I. I. I know like Bird Sugar and all these writers. You know Thomas Hauser like, as well. Yeah, I know Thomas Hauser yeah. and all these. But like, yeah. I can't remember who it was. I was just a kid, but I remember yeah. thinking that's like you took like the brutality of of boxing, yeah, right, which is right. always a conflict between. The brutality of boxing and the beauty right. of writing and the beauty of the sport against the brutality and what well, Tyson always talks about it, yeah. And mm-hmm. I was like, this is just really fucking powerful, man. Really amazing, you know what I mean? And then you know what that was, man? Like, you know, not to cut you off, um, mm-hmm. uh Tim, but like, you know, looking back now, I remember watching Ali versus um Leon Spinks, mm-hmm. the first fight. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when Muhammad lost, man, like, I cried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, like, maybe, like, 13 years old. I cried. And, I, you know, that's the first time that uh, I remember crying, like, you know, um, other than, like, you know, my father beat my ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, but um, uh, my point is that um, although, like, you know, um, my point was what? I don't have a goddamn point, obviously. It <laughs> doesn't matter. This, 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 chat, this, chat, this chat will be all over the place, man, because, because I've got no real agenda. Because I've got no real agenda apart from fucking happy to speak to you. So it's like, <laughs> My pleasure, man. That's it. Like, so it doesn't matter. If you're like, but, but like, it's like, uh, yeah, but my, the, the point was what I was trying to make was like, yeah. This was the, like, the tipping point for me where I thought, man, yeah. this, this writing's as powerful as boxing. Yeah. That's right. And like for you, yeah. I thought I thought your anatomy anatomy of a knockout was your point where you thought uh, writing is as powerful as boxing. Yeah. Now now oh, I, I yeah. have, I've got like a very good father. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know, a really great father. And yeah. I'm like in, in a way that's like uh, I'm not like obviously I'm not I don't wanna be like disrespectful. From the thing, no, no, big love, you, like you know, we're human beings, like you know, people are human beings, man. We fuck yeah. up, yeah. But yeah, from, have, from, yeah. from what you said about your father, he didn't, yeah, like, he pushed you and pushed you in a direction, right? You didn't want to yeah. go, but was my yeah. father was quite relaxed and just kind of let me go, whatever he way. Supported I, you. I, bo- I yeah. boxed, man. I was, I was, I boxed, I was terrible, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I had no heart, I had no heart for the boxing, yeah. So right. I, I I had a, an amateur boxing fight. I lost my first amateur boxing fight. Me yeah. too. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. So I know you lost. Your, I know you lost your first professional fight too. Yeah. And amateur fight. Yes. Yeah, sir. yeah. And I was like, yep. 
But I can kind of like I was thinking, I was thinking like you know, we we're the same in this in this situation. Yes. But apart right. from that, you're a tough tough bastard, yeah. And then you and then you had a very tough father, and I had a relaxed father. Right. You know? Yeah. I was thinking. You know, it's it's just interesting, you know what I mean, when I, when I was looking at and writing and, you know, all these yes. things. Yes. You, know, yeah. you know what, Chan, let me tell you something, man. Like, you know, you, you um, what you just said about, like, you know, your experiences with my with your father and my experiences with my father, like, you know, you know, um, without the arts, man, mm-hmm. yeah. I couldn't process that, right? Like, you know, I remember, like, you know, that my um, my acting coach, you know, uh, his name is Rick Ellenstein, man, and... Uh, he would always say to us, like, you know, in during acting, blah, 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 after a scene, blah, blah, blah. It was like, you know, um, if I get in your ass just because you don't like it, it doesn't mean you can't find value in something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Holy yeah. shit. Wow. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. You, you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because I don't like something doesn't mean, like, you know, I can't find value in something. Yeah, you know, my yeah. father, like, you know, I understand now the demons that my father was like, you know, uh, trying to express and like and deal with himself because like you know, he came from like, you know, a horrible background. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, his mother like, you know, left him when like, you know, because his was like, you know, father was abusive. Mm-hmm. And uh, I must like, I mean, you know, you know, so, so, so I understand that. But like, you know, just because, you know, I understand someone, it doesn't mean I have to like them as a human yeah, being. That's yeah, my yeah. choice. And the, and, the, and the thing is, it's like you... You achieved great things, yeah. <laughs> you know, like it doesn't—it doesn't make it right. It just the fact. Right. That, no, 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 no. The fact right. is, you—you yeah. you achieved great things, yeah. You know what, though, champ? Like, you know, not the, I'm not cutting you off. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm no, sorry. No, no. Cut me off, man. Cut me off. I know you're Irish, like you know. You may punch me in the goddamn mouth. You are Irish, right? Or English? But my fam- my fam- my background's Irish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Okay, you so you saw the alcohol and was like, you're Irish. <laughs> I don't want to piss you off. Man, but like, no, you know, it's more like you know, it's more like you know, highlight something for you. But that um, um, uh, you said something like you know. You're saying things that spark these, like, you know, uh, motivations, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, so what you said before, um, which I can't remember now, but if you repeat it, I can cut you off again. What I said was, I probably said something really profound, but now it won't sound profound. What, what I said was, what I said was, you, you, you experienced hardship, yeah? And right. and right and well, I didn't say this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend I said this. <laughs> I said you experience hardship, yeah. Right. And this hardship right. with writers and with fighters, yeah. This <laughs> kind of like provokes something inside right. them to perform, yes. yeah. But yes. it comes from two different points, yeah. Yes. So it comes from an honesty. Yeah. A, a liar, yeah, which is a thing. yeah, okay, that's right, yes, yes, continue, continue. yes, that's it, yeah, no, 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 you, I mean, no, 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 continue, you get it, man, you get it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so you said, you said, fighters lie all the time, that punch yes. didn't hurt me, he's nothing, Bang. blah, 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 right. really, they know the truth, yeah, yeah, La- writers embrace the pain, yeah, mm-hmm. right, they, that's they, right, this was, this was, you know, and they, and they embrace it, and they work upon it, you know? yes, so, yeah, yes. okay, Okay, so I, 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 I have to share this with you, man. Okay, okay so, you know, um, this is a writing platform, obviously, right? Yeah, yeah, And yeah. it's like, you know, sports, blah, blah, platform, like, you know. So um, that uh, article I wrote, Anatomy of a Knockout, which, like, opened up a lot of doors for me, like, you know, in L.A. and Hollywood and whatnot, man. Like, you know, um, so I used to work for Burt Sugar's magazine. Uh, was called uh, Burt Sugar's Fight Game, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I wrote like in a few fluff pieces, blah blah blah, about like in you know, the boxes, blah blah blah, like you know. And Burt called me one day and says, "Michael," I said, "Yes, Burt." <laughs> said, uh, "I have an assignment for you that only you can write." I'm like, "What's that, Burt?" He said, uh, "Taking the reader down." the the uh the um corridor of getting knocked out knocking somebody out mm-hmm. like holy shit yeah. i didn't say that but like you know i'm thinking that right okay great i'm like okay great 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 like you know, give me a few weeks right so like you know i was terrified man yeah the only way i could do that thing justice um tim 
was to um that was like maybe a year and a half after my fight with Herbie Hyde. The only way I I felt that I could truly do that thing justice was to go in my uh, closet and dig out that fucking tape of Herbie Hyde knocking me out. That's the only way I can truly like you know dig down into that space. And bro, yeah, some like somehow I I I, I summoned the courage. Mm-hmm. And uh, maybe like it was maybe like a no, oh shit, no, well maybe do it. Okay, so like you, know, I was I was stalling, yeah. and uh, maybe like two weeks go by. Bert doesn't hear from me. I'm afraid to write the piece. I'm invited to this boxing match at Madison Square Garden, and I go into the goddamn boxing match, and who do I see standing in front of me? Bert Sugar. Oh yeah, yeah. Bert Sugar, right? Yeah. Bert Sugar's there. And uh, he turns around, gives me a shit. <laughs> he gives me a look like, it "Was a fucking piece, man." He didn't say that, but like, and he says, "You know, that's the look, right?" <laughs> wow, this is my Wait, shot. Ima- ima- imagine he said, "Imagine he said that, man. That would be cool." No, no, no. He was thinking with, that with, with, that his cigar, with his cigar, with his cigar, right? Exactly. Like, What's the fucking right. piece? <laughs> yes, but like, yo, check this out, though. So next to Bert was a guy. Guy had like low, like like gray hair and shit, man. Like you know, short guy, um, and he turns around to me, and he's he stutters, yeah. right? My father stutters, my mother stutters, I stutter, right? And this guy got in my this guy got in my fucking face and like with his finger, Michael, right, 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 right the f- 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 fucking piece. Mm-hmm. And it hurt a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> he was yeah, yeah. like, damn, dude, like, you know, like, you know, cool. You know who that guy was? Yeah. Bud Schulberg. Who said it? Bud Schulberg. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. The writer of yeah, On the yeah. Waterfront. On the Waterfront, yeah, man. I can't, Marlon, I can't Marlon, make this shit up. Marlon, bro. Marlon Brando. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I cannot yeah. make this shit up, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's he, put, yeah. He, he dug his fucking finger in my chest, man. Yeah. Because, like, you know, that's the first time I like I was like a, I I met him, but like you know, obviously Bert and him, he was a big fight fan as well. Yeah. So obviously him and Bert like you know had conversations about like you know why they hired me, man. Yeah. And dude, funny. when he like you know like you know um um normally like you know if someone you know is, is, you know does that to you and shit like you know mm-hmm. you resort to like you know what you experienced with your father. Yeah. And like and like you know and grab the person's hand right. But like you know, I'm, I'm like no, no I'm, I'm like like I'm, I'm like dude, like you know, you know, because I felt, I sensed that it came from like you know a place of my man, like you know, yeah. we're giving you a yeah. shot here, man. Do, do, he has do, the talent. Do, do you still? I mean, I don't, I don't know what, what like, what, yeah. Is your is your father still alive or what's happened with your father? Apparently he is. Apparently yeah. he is. So do you, I mean, like you know, do, I, don't, do, I don't deal with him. Do, do, <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, like when you speak about your father, though, yeah, yeah, like okay. To, to take people back, yeah, you know, just yeah. like for people who don't know your story, you know, it's yeah. like your story is phenomenal, you know, it's like it, it's, you know, people say, oh, there should be a movie about this, and there's not, right, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, like, I know they always say, they say that, and, shit. Like, <laughs> and then they make a movie about some bullshit, like, but like, right, right, exactly, there's like, right. It's like, you know, you were one of the greatest amateur fighters in American history, yeah. And I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to kiss your ass, man. No, 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 no. Kiss my ass for that. <laughs> you, no, fought, that, that. you fought like some great fighters, yeah? You won yeah. the Golden Glove Championship four times. Yeah. 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 You you fought like Ray Mercy. You fought Felix right. Simon, you know. You fought yeah. all these great fighters. And you had about 150 amateur fights, you know. You lost very few fights, you know what I mean? Ten. I was once 178 and 10. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so you had this phenomenal. I'm just kidding. But the funny, the, the most interesting thing is that you didn't want to be a fighter from the no. time you were, were a child. Yeah. Not not Can from, I tell you something, from, the, from the time you were a child. You never got knocked. Did you get knocked out as an amateur? I don't think you did. <laughs> <laughs> I got knocked out. Did. No, 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 dude. Like you know, like you know, dude. Like you know, if I wasn't like it, an artist, man, I couldn't admit this shit. Yeah, well, I'd have yeah, a hard time in this, yeah, like you know, yeah, in this, like you know, I got knocked out for the first time by a guy named Ron Turner. Yeah, right? yeah. when when and Ron Turner, I knew Ron since I was ten years old. 
Okay. Boxing, right? My yeah. first like experience uh, at a boxing gym was at uh, a gym, uh, the 110 Precinct, uh, which is in Flushing, Queens. And my trainer was Joe Davis. He ran the PAL over there. And I went there and uh, because my father liked him, blah, blah, blah. And Ron, I met Ron. Cut two, uh, maybe six, seven years later, because um, at one point I had like, you know, stepped away from boxing. Uh, yeah. What's my father's chagrin? Mm-hmm. And, uh, um, you know, I played baseball, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so I had, to, I had to fight Ron Turner, who was a big man. Mm-hmm. And like maybe like six or seven years older than me in the heavyweight class because like you know I was a bulky kid. Yeah, yeah. But I wasn't like you know I wasn't a heavyweight at that time. Mm-hmm. I wasn't a real heavyweight, and I fought had to fight Ron Turner in the uh, 1982 Golden Glove semifinals. Yeah, big fucking yeah. deal, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I remember like you know I was I was a hellacious body puncher as a like as a pro. And you're phenomenal. Mean, you're phenomenal as an amateur, like honestly. Thank you, man. Like, I appreciate like, it, bro. Just think, forget about that. The, the defeat. No, no, the, no, 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 no. Like, no, but they're, but they're very, they're very few. You beat. Yeah. I'm. I'm not. You're gonna say the name. Yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. Ale- Alexander. Yeah. Alexander Yugubkin. Yeah. Okay. Dude, tell, that's tell, the story tell, that's tell, tell me about Alexander Yugubkin. Yeah. Okay well, okay, well, you mean tell you about the after I tell you about the uh, that, you, the that, you, that, that you beat him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Alexander Yagubkin, um, uh, I, I got to just sneak this in. Ron Turner knocked me out in the second round mm-hmm. with the overhand right hand that I never saw. Yeah. And I was hurt. And mm-hmm. like, you know, the interesting thing about that was like, you know, my father went ballistic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It was about him, right? Yeah. yeah. And I'm thinking, like, you know, God damn, dude, like, you know, I mean, it's kind of fucked up. Yeah, definitely. I got knocked out, not you. But, like, you know, be that as it may, this is where it is, man. Um, but um, Alexander Yagubkin was another, was number ranked heavyweight in the world for mm-hmm. two or three years. Uh, and uh, he had beat my brother in international competition. Who's like, my brother was on the USA boxing team as well and made the national team, international boxing team, uh, um, a year before I did, and uh, you know, I didn't go to, I didn't go with him on the Russian trip, but allegedly, he beat Yagubkin. But like, like, you know, in Russia, you got to kill the cat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, so you didn't have a gun. You know what I mean? It's like it's like, it's like, like, Ed, Ed, like an Eddie Hearn fight card. Okay. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to start. I'm not going to start. I'm not going. I'm not going. To, I'm not going to I, I, I will. I, I, I will disparage Eddie Hearn. Okay. Okay. Like, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Eddie, he said, not me. Yeah. No, no, no. And so, um, uh, and so, in 1983, I made the uh, USA boxing team. Like you know, and we go over to uh, in '84. We go over in the summer. Of, no, in the winter of '84, we go over to. Um, this is the USA boxing team that didn't make the Olympics. Mm-hmm. So they have like a they have a different like you know group of bunch, like a group of uh, guys like you know who didn't make the Olympics. So we go to uh, where was it? I think we, I think, I think we went to Russia. Mm-hmm. And uh, this cat like you know Alexander boxed my ears off, man. Yeah. And uh, um, as my trainer Artie Curry, uh, as my trainer Artie Sinchon used to say, I had a hard on for this guy. Yeah. And, you know. I didn't like it. I didn't know, know much about the Russian culture. Yeah. Like, you know, um, um, uh, but like, you know, I've, you know, since then, like, you know, I'd love Russia. I've yeah. been there twice yeah. since like, you know, I retired from boxing, blah, blah. I, I love Russia, man. But like, you know, so, and once again, like I had like, you know, I had like, you know, I had something to prove because like, you know, this guy, like, you know, this, this guy outboxed me and I consider myself a really good fucking boxer. Yeah. And I, this guy, like, you know, this guy like played with me, right? Okay, yeah. great. So, do you know that um, that uh, I had a relationship with Shelly Finkel? Shelly Finkel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Shelly yeah. was one of my sponsors as an amateur. Tyson's and manager I, later on, Shelly Finkel, Mike. That's Tyson. right. Yes, right. Yes. Right. yes, yes, right, right, right. But Shelly Finkel, like you know, had the good um, insight <laughs> to like you know send me the camp. Mm-hmm. When he banned the Holyfield with those guys, like you know, uh, he banned the Holyfield, Terrell, Bits, all those guys, like you know, and I would work with um, this trainer named Georgie Benton. Georgie Benton, legend, yeah. Fucking professor. Muhammad Ali connection. He trained Muhammad it, Ali, yeah. Okay. 
Exactly right, right, right. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, um, uh, Georgie Benton, like you know, was the architect yeah. behind. Uh, uh, was the architect of like Leon Spinks's victory over Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's that's huge, man. And like you know, and uh, and so um, you know, um, he. I think he watched like you know my defeat to this Russian blah 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 because like you know, Charlie Finkel like you know had high had high praise for me. And um, Georgie, I worked with Georgie uh, maybe for like three months. I mean, like three weeks. That was called back uh, to the USA boxing team for a uh, for an international duel match with uh, no, no, it was, it was for the uh, the world championships in Reno, Nevada. And uh, you know, Georgie just told me like, "Hey, man, if you I, I've watched this Russian," he said, um, "If you take away his jab." Mm -hmm. And run your numbers. Mm -hmm. You got them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you hear what I said, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> he said, run your numbers. Yeah. That's like, you know, I don't know if you know what that means. Yeah. In boxing lingo, like, you know, and like, you know, in Philadelphia, boxing lingo, that means run your fucking combinations. Yeah. Run your numbers. Yeah. And uh, that's what I did. I took away, I took away your Gookins jab. And I ran numbers, and at the end of like three rounds, man, like you know, I I didn't think I would like, you know, I didn't think they would give me the decision because like you know it's politics, man. Yeah. But like you know, when they said like you know in the blah 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 corner. Yeah. Holy shit! Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing like you know um, can can uh, um, can uh, supplant that moment right there, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I had a friend. Uh, um, I know I'm like, you know, like, you know, um, make the story longer than it should be. But like, I had a friend on the USA boxing team. His name was um, Lauren Ross. He was the 178 pound representative for the USA boxing team. Right. Mm -hmm. And Lauren, like, you know, his fight is coming up next. And after I won, you know, people are clapping, blah, blah. And I see this guy running through the crowd, like fighting people to get to me. Yeah. Or like you know, I, I like it. Well, like what I thought it was to like to uh, get to me, man. And he runs through the crowd, blah blah blah. And he's crying, man. He's fucking crying, Tim. Yeah. And he and he jumps up into the ring and he fucking hugs me and shit. And he said, "Man, you did it. Yeah. You yeah. beat him." Like this, fuck, this, I'm, this, I'm getting chills now, bro. This is the thing. This is the thing that people see. Yeah, what what I saw in look, you know, looking at things about you and that, you know. Yeah. It's that like the the miscast champion loses, yeah. It's yeah. like it's like it's it kind of a, it, it's a great it's a great little piece, yeah. It's a great, yeah, it is, piece, yeah. Yeah. but it can but yeah. it kind of it infuriates me a little bit, yeah. Because Why? because there's lots of fucking dog in you, yeah. Yeah, there's a great fighter inside you. Yeah, and you lost two fights in that in that in that documentary, and you yeah. and like you you kind of. Okay, the dog in you, yeah, the yeah. the, blur, the anger, everything, right. everything that was about you for me, yeah, comes yeah. out from the Tommy Robinson fight, yeah, mm. everything, everything, it, like, it, it, like the, the, abusive, you got it. the abusive father, everything. Yes, you know, that's right. You know, sometimes there's like a little moment in life, and it's like that's the fucking moment, man. That's the moment where that's everything it. comes out in you, where you go, yes, fuck this, man. I'm not gonna take this anymore. Yeah, yeah. and you just. Yeah. Banged them out, man. He was like, yeah. he was a great fighter, Tommy. What I said, but you banged them out, yeah. And that yeah. was that moment in life where you just took the moments after that. Boxing, you know what? The boxing didn't matter. I'm not, I'm not, it, it, I'm not making excuses for you. No, but, Tim, it I'm didn't fucking boxing. matter, man. Yeah, Tim, matter, yeah, yeah, Tim, yeah. Chad, like, you know, not to cut you off, but like, you know, uh, after that fight, um, Stan Hoffman, who was my manager, then mm -hmm. oh, we fly over the we fly over to London, right? For like, you know, like, you know, a uh, uh, welcome back to London, Mr. Uh, Michael Ben born in London, blah, 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 parade, yeah. right? Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> right? <laughs> I that out, man. I that out. I mean, I appreciate it, but like, you know, I know it's bullshit, man. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Please. But anyway, so while I'm there, man, I'm doing like, I'm doing like 85,000 LA interviews a fucking hour, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I remember speaking to uh, some um, some reporter. This guy was a real asshole. Yeah. Because reporters can be assholes. Oh, they're fucking most, mostly. I don't like them. <laughs> this is why I, this is why I think I think I could go, I could go into 
journalism, but I just don't want it because they've got right. a spin on everything. Uh, exactly. Uh, the experts and shit. Yeah, exactly. but like, you know, right, right. Yeah. But like, you know, but um, 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 so uh, this guy, like, you know, asking me like all these, like, you know, hell, so, so Michael, like, what do you want to do now? You know, what do you want to do now? With the, who do you want to fight? And blah, blah, blah. Like, and of course, like, I mean, dude, check I'm like, I'm thinking like, you know what? I say to him, I won't be like heavyweight we champion that long, man. Yeah. yeah. I knew it. Yeah. You know, um, did I want to be? I don't know. But I knew, like, you know, I knew, like, you know, that uh, that October 29th, 1993, uh, Tommy Morrison is, is beating me. And if that is what, like, you know, is what, like, you know, I'm left with, okay, fuck it. But, like, you know, I, I don't want to fucking box anymore, man. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, who wants that? Yeah. yeah. Get brain damage and shit? Yeah, exactly. Could you, you yeah, go ahead. The, the, the brain damage, yeah. Like yeah. The, uh, this is this is a terrible thing, you know, the relationship with your father. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's sick it's sickening. <laughs> you're to laughing, what, see? It's sickening you're to you're what, a sick what, bastard, but you're laughing at my father. No, 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 no I'm, I'm messing I'm messing with I'm messing, I'm messing. I'm kind of sick, bro. Dude, I'm I'm, I'm retarded, Jack. I'm, I'm laughing because it's it's fucking crazy, man. I'm like it is. I'm like yes. Your father yeah, was like, yeah. just to put it into context, if you watch this program, Losers, oh, yes. Netflix, which is a ridiculous title, but no, I, yeah. I would never call it that. I don't care. I think it's really ridiculous yeah. title. But yeah. Anyway, like, yeah. uh, like you've achieved more than you thought Ray Mercer, man, one of the right. fucking greatest heavyweights right. you know, in the last 20 years or whatever. I think yeah. it's 40 years, man. I'm getting old. <laughs> no, that's all right. Yeah. So, like, uh-huh. uh, so you've got Ray Mercer on the hardest punch in heavyweights. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Now, yeah. Twice. 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 Two days. For the amateurs, yeah? yeah. And then, like, yeah. you had, like, 12 fights and you won the heavyweight championship within on the 11th yeah. fights, yeah? Yeah. And all this. And you have this documentary called Losers. And then your father, right. you, there was a point in that docu- documentary where you talk about your father and you said, Right. When you were like a little kid, and you said, "I don't want to box. I don't want to box, man." He was trying to live vicariously through you. That's right. Because he loved our beat me. and he beat right. you with a television, you know, antenna. Uh, um, the, uh, the, the, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what my man said. So I can't make that shit up, bro. That's like you know, if you write a book, mm-hmm. put yeah. that in there. Yeah, because well, I can, like you know, you know. Well, this, is, this is the thing, man. Because you were yeah. an absolute. If you think about what you did, yeah. You mm. can't, you can't like, yeah, of course people can be weakened by these situations, but you yeah. must have been a really fucking tough guy to be No, to no, be, no. Become, uh, become, and you, yeah. and you, must have, you must have found love in the worst possible place, yeah, in a boxing ring, you know, when you... You know what it was, Tim? Mm-hmm. No, no, to like, you know, I get what you're saying, but like, you know, uh, the love that like, you know, that was supposed to be uh, delivered by my father mm-hmm. and my mother. My mother was no angel. Mm-hmm. I get it, because like, you know, like, you know, I'm like, you know, I mean, you know, you know, people who grow up, like, you know, in, in a disenfranchised community, man, like, you know, I mean, they're damaged. Mm-hmm. I understand that now. There's a 10-year-old, like, you know, seeing, like, you know, your mother and father fighting and, like, and, like, you know, them hurling, like, you know, insults at each other, like, you know, it's 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 tantamount to like you know hurting you. It does hurt you because like you know you don't know what's going on and you're a kid and you come from them, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But um, in terms of uh, people who um, I remember, like you know specifically, man, like you know uh, the reason why I'm so like you know big on telling like people and and young children, like you know who went through who are going through what I'm like. But I've um, um, survived um, about mentors, man, because mentors are the ones who saved my goddamn life. Mentors. People who didn't look like me sometimes and who believed yeah. in me. Uh, Shelly Finkel. Yeah. Mentor. Uh, my, uh, there were two trainers. Um, there was a guy named... Uh, um, uh, it was Georgie Benton, of course. Yeah. And there was my amateur boxing trainer uh, from Puerto Rico. Uh, um, Audi Cintron. Mm-hmm. I remember uh, I lost a fight. I got knocked out by Ron Turner in the 1982 Golden Gloves, blah, 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 semifinals. And my father went ballistic, 
right? Because it's all about him, right? This is a theme, this is a theme yeah. <laughs> right, ex right, yeah, yeah. exactly, right, right, right. And I remember Audi Cintron. Remember, this guy like fucking Audi's like maybe like five five, yeah. little pudgy, you know, like maybe like sixty years old. And my father, like you know, at that time, in his prime, like in his fifties, blah blah, but like you know, still like a very virile guy. Yeah. And uh, Audi Centron, like he got my father. He said, "He said, don't you ever fucking talk to this kid like that, man." Yeah. They see he's fucking in, in, like you know, he just got knocked out. You ever experienced that, Michael? Michael, you took, this is the point, yeah, man. This is what yeah. I was thinking because in your last fight, yeah, you suffered like some brain injury, yeah, yeah, and in the end of your career, yeah, and you were like, yeah, and your father was like, "Fuck him, let him bleed to death," yeah, like I could, and, I could tell totally you, and, and, and I was like. Why, yeah. why, so, like, you, did you ever, like, just try and beat him up, or, like... Beat him up? Yeah, your father, uh, like, did you ever, like, okay. flip and just go... Okay, check us out. I'm glad you asked that question. Yeah, I, I feel bad about asking that question. No, 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 I'm not like that, somebody, somebody so, somebody so big and powerful... Yeah. He's so, he's so weak, it's like... Well, you know, exactly. This way. Like, you know, yeah. so... Let me tell you about, like, you know, uh, the uh, one time, the world level. We had, like, you know, when I was on the USA boxing team, blah, 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 we, we had confrontations. And, like, you know, he, he threatened to kill me one time. Mm -hmm. You know, and, okay. And this was, like, you know, after I lost the, after I lost the, um, after I lost to um, Savone in the Pan Am games, like, you know, I just, felt just, like... Just, felt just, like to, just to interject, yeah. Felix, sorry, yeah. just to interject, yeah. Felix Savon, you lost to, yeah? Yeah, exactly. One of, one of the greatest, exactly. the greatest exactly. amateur, probably right. the greatest amateur of all Ever. time, yeah? Yeah, A heavyweight, yes. Yeah, heavyweight, yeah. Yes. The greatest, yes. definitely the greatest, not not probably. Right. The greatest, yeah. heavy, and yeah. you lost, like, yeah. very, in the sec, in one of the fights, very close margin. Yes, uh, the second, the first fight, he beat me 5-0. Yeah, the five the, uh, the, uh, right. Yeah, uh, the uh, second fight in Toronto, I I beat him. Yeah, you know, you know, how I know that. Yeah, you know I, I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I'm like, you know, like, don't believe me, but like, you know, I knew that I beat Savon. I, we were downstairs in the hotel lobby. Yeah, waiting for our um, bus to take us to the airport, right? Yeah. And down comes the contingent of uh, Cuban boxers, right? Without Savon. He still may not, I don't know where he was, right? Yeah. And, you know, I go over, like, and, and shake the hands of, like, you know, or get, like, you know, get the cat's dap, you know what I mean? Like, you know, of, of the Q&T, because, like, you know, although we were rivals, like, you know, some of us, like, we became friends, mm -hmm. right? And about four or five Cuban boxers, like, you know, said to me, hey, Ben, you beat Sabon last night, man. You beat yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And the Cubans don't give it up to Americans, bro. No, 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 no. no, no. They despise Americans. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or despise them right now. Yeah. Or they, or they aspire to be. <laughs> yeah. Depends. <laughs> woo, wow, yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. I don't. I, I no, don't no, 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 look past all over like uh, all these right. stories. Now, but yeah. But anyway, so your father went crazy. When yeah. Come, yeah, right. Yeah, you know what, man? Like you know, so like about the whole um um the whole um then we said like um met the boy a lot lot then. Yeah, 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 I know that. I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, what, uh, translate that. That's Padua, Jamaican Padua. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, well, you know, yeah. my mom and dad's Jamaican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're Jamaicans. Yeah, you know. So what? Uh, um, let him, want, let him die. Let him die. Your father said when you. Got right. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah right. They exactly. Did. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's it. Make it, yeah. I, I mean, like, I'm okay, but like you know, but like you know, that's that's that language to me. But like you know, it's not a, it's not foreign to me. Yeah. Because like you know, dude, like you know, this guy. Once again, I empathize with my father. Am I giving my father a pass? Yes and no. Mm -hmm. You know, but like you know, I can admit, I can admit, I don't like the man. But you, but you, I, but you, but you never. I don't know, like when you spoke, yeah. Whenever you say anything, you don't say anything too derogatory. I don't know. You don't see. No, to, no, no. I don't. I don't speak to him, my father. No, no. But you don't seem to say like "fuck that guy" or you don't. You just seem. You seem quite no, like. No, no, no. Because because don't like, you, bit, you don't seem too bitter about. No, because 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 I've overcome his bullshit. Yeah, okay. And like you know, not only that, like you know, I mean, I empathize with. Him. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Once again, like you know, my father can't read or write. Yeah. I remember, like you know, and like you know, my father is a, is 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 a very old man's man. My father's the kind of guy. Yeah. I can say this honestly. He's the kind of guy. If he walks into a room, the room fucking lights up. Mm-hmm. He changes the molecules in the room. He's yeah. that kind of guy. Like me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm buzzing at I'm buzzing at Joss, man. But like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we should like you know take this show on the goddamn road, bro. You know, yeah. um, you'll be like you know definitely, man. Definitely. Like, do you, do you like, really? uh, Martin Lewis. <laughs> no, man. I just think no. I just you know yeah. like that show that that show. Uh, this is this is a show. Uh, for pe- you know for people who who don't know you, yeah, yeah, this, yeah. this interview is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I, I didn't. I didn't construct it in in a, in a proper way. I just kind of jumped in, like, "Ah, oh, my comments," you know. And I was <laughs> now, if I was Tom Tom Jones, yeah, yeah maybe Tom Jones. Yeah. Oh. But, like, still alive? Was, but like, but like, yeah. So, which one? Is he still alive? Tom Jones. Know, oh man, I don't know. He's dead musically, but anyway. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> but, but like. like I, I jumped in like you know enthusiastically, but like yeah. it's like the Netflix documentary, man. You know, it's yeah. called Losers, and it kind of pisses me off. Right. Like, and, I'll, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll, I know, I know that you, I know that you made the choice to, to join. You know, yes. the, the participants, yes. and I, yes. I that really because because what annoys me about this documentary is you lost two fighters of professional, yeah. Right. You lost two pri- fighters professional. Your first professional fight, which which you overcame. And, you, and your last professional fight, which you had brain damage, after right. you pulled Tommy Morrison one of the hardest punching heavyweights, you know what I mean, in recent years, yeah. yeah. So the call, and you became heavyweight champion, and you beat Tommy Morrison, yeah. Yeah. So to call someone like you a loser, yeah. Okay, but like you know, really, really, really impacts no, on no, no. Me, really impacts on me as a man. Right. Okay. <laughs> if you're, a, the if you're, like if you're a loser, what am yeah. I? No, 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 no. I get that. Like, you know, see, see, the thing about the most important thing about that, like, you, you know, is that you're you're sensitive. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and you can admit that shit. You, you no, can admit but that. Not, not, beca- not because of the professional career, because of the amateur career, which is, right. which is, right. which is infinitely more impressive than the yes. professional career. But nobody yes. in the mo- in the modern world, in like the, the mainstream media, nobody cares about, they care about the professional. But like, you know, you know. When 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 uh, when uh, Mickey Dozy, right, the mm-hmm. uh, creator and director of Losers, he can like you know, um, he hit me with like um, I think we had already shot the episode or like you know we were in the midst of shooting like you know the episode and he said Mike like um, you know um, I want to tell you like you know I don't know if I told you this, but like you know that uh, the name of the uh, of the project is Losers. Mm-hmm. And you know what I said? You know what I said? Well, fucking perfect, uh, fucking perfect. Losers, good. No, no, right. no. Like, you know, that's you, though. That's you. No, 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 no. When, no, no, I, when no, I was emailing no, you, no, when no. I was emailing you, you were like, I know, but when I was emailing you, I was like, look at them, look at the look at Tom Morrison fight. That's yeah. a perfect example of you, man. You were beaten, and then you fought back, and you and you fought, back, and that was you. Okay, but then but then you said, look at the Michael Ben fight. Anyway, sorry. Look at the. No, no, I got you, I got you, I got you. No, 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 you know, like, you know, and I hear a lot of people say that, like, you know, and I respect that and I love that. Yeah. Like, you know, I love them for like, you know, like, you know, trying to be protective, but like, you know, of me, but like, you know, um, you know, I was talking, I was talking to Mickey, like, you know, a couple of weeks ago, man, like, you know, and he had a conversation with someone about the term itself, like, you know, losers, man. And he said, like, you know, hey, Mike, like, you know, I told Mickey, I don't accomplish what I accomplish unless I lost first, man. Yeah. You understand that? You understand? Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. I don't I don't dig down the way I had to dig down um and to win because I had lost. Mm-hmm. Like you know, the only reason why, like, you know, I fucking beat Morrison because like, you know, I wanted to, I remember like, you know, I ran into a uh, Pernell Whitaker. He was a uh, and like, you know, Pe- I knew Pernell, man, like, you know, since we were, he was older than me, it was, uh, you know, and I know him since, like, you know, and he was also sponsored by Shirley Finkel, and I knew Pernell since I was, like, you know, an elite amateur boxer in the States, man, and, you know, so 
I'm going like you. I'm like this is like you. A few like um um uh weeks, maybe a month before the Morrison fight, man. And I see him. Well, they're like I don't see him. Um, someone jumps on my back. I, I go to this boxing match, like you know, at this uh, venue in Vegas, and someone jumps on my back, and it's Pernell. Uh, and he's like, you know, hey man, like you know, good fucking. Look. I heard you got the, like you know, heard you got the Morrison fight. You got him. Uh, That's what Pete said to me, man. And like you know, there were like other guys from the uh, boxing world who I knew on that intimate level, but like you know, he was the only one like you know who, who gave me love like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, hey, man, you got him. Yeah. Shit. That's Pernell telling you that. That's yeah. Beautiful, man. That's yeah, exactly. Because because you you hung on those ropes, yeah? You took yeah. really, like, cause, because Morrison, man, is, a, is an yes. amazing puncher, yeah? Ooh, and, you, and, you, yes. and you took some hellacious punches, yeah? Yes, sir. And then, and then you... You Temple back shot. Down, man. Yeah, it's like, you, it's like something in you just sort of snapped. And you say, okay, let me, and, 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 I, and I, when I was watching this, yeah, not, not yeah. when I was watching it as a kid, yeah, when I was a yeah. teenager, but when I was watching it now, like just before we spoke, yeah, yeah. I was like, that's a moment where he snapped, man. It's like, he's going to take his, his father's bullshit, you know, coming on to him. And then right. it's like, fuck you, man. I'm going to, I'm going to, I know you didn't, th- maybe you didn't think that. In your head, but it was like it was no, just, but like you know, looked, I think like it, it looked yeah. like this. It was like I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going right. to. I'm not going to look like a, an idiot in in Queens or you know. Right, that's right, you know, that's right. I'm yeah, snap him out like you that's, know, it. It was that's amazing, it. Like, man, amazing. No, no, thank you, man. Like you know, like you know, that's that's uh, that was um. Although like you know, that was a really profound moment. Like you know, at that point in my life, mm-hmm. and, and it still is. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, um, uh, um, I was telling somebody like, you know, like maybe six months ago, like, you know, every time I watch the fight, like, you know, and I like, you know, go back and watch the fight, like, you know, just to be like, you know, nostalgic or like, you know, just to yeah. see how, like, you know, yeah. yeah, you know, it was a wonderful moment, but like, you know, there's a moment, there's a moment like, you know, in the fight where, um, I knocked Tommy down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah I think it's the first, no, the second knockdown, man. Yeah. And, um, the camera, HBO camera, pans into his fucking face. Gone, man. And we, gone, right. And we see that he's gone, right? He's gone. And like, you know, dude, like, you know, I feel empathy for him because I've been there. Yeah. yeah. And, and I he, admit he, he was a great fighter. I didn't want to like, yes. when, I, when I was talking to you, I didn't want to like put him down. No, no, he, don't he, do he, it. No. He, he was a great no. guy, like, you know, like you know, like you know, not to cut you off, Chad, but like you know, I'm like you know, I mean that that's just like a, a, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I got a phone call from a dear friend of mine. He was a boxing writer, like you know, uh, from New York, Bobby Cassie Jr. And like you know, he said, Mike, like I just got back from the uh, New York State Hall of Fame, and uh, he Bobby's been uh, Bobby was inducted, uh, you know, in the New York in the New York State Hall of Fame, and you know what he did, bro? You know what he did? He fucking lobbied for me to be inducted in the New York State Hall of Fame. Yeah, while he was inducted. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm not... No, 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 for your, for your amateur... For your amateur here's achievement. my point, though. Yeah. He, didn't, he didn't have to fucking do that. No, 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 no. For he didn't amateur have to do that, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, it's so like, you know, so like, uh, um, so what's my point? Like, you know, um, you know, people like that um, who, like, truly, like, understand and get me, because, like, I directed the play for Bobby, like, you know, like, years ago, man. So he looks so, like, you know, and he's a writer. Mm-hmm. So we get each other. We speak out like you know, we speak, you know, we speak the same goddamn language, man. Yeah, yeah. He's, you know, he's a real sensitive cat. I'm a real sensitive cat. Uh, I could be a motherfucker. But it's, like, it's, you know, it's, it's amazing that like, like your life changed. Okay, let's just go back to this moment just in a minute. Yeah. Like your life changed in this moment of like this whole lifetime of brutality from an abusive right. father and that. Yeah. This moment where someone asked you to write an article. And then you became right. funny listening, okay? Right. So just, right. Just, With sorry. Michael Mann. Right? This interview is going to last 10 hours. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's make it last um, nine and a half hours. Nine and a half hours, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, I mean, like, you like, you know, I mean, I mean, like, you know, so playing Sunny Listen. Yeah. 
Um, but go, go back to that. Go back. Go back. Go back to the writing, which you mentioned. Oh yes, yes. yes. Like, yeah, well, I go, yeah, was yeah. I was yeah. So the way I got that um, that uh, so like you know so you know I'm um, I reach out um, you know don't the, the only way that I could fully embrace this whole goddamn thing uh, about like getting knocked out and knocking somebody out. Although I I wasn't even conscious of it at the time. The only way that I have I could embrace it is to like you know like grab that goddamn um, uh, 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 cassette out of my closet and watch it and then uh, let that shit like you know flow or damage me or tell me the truth. Mm-hmm. You know, and that was a Herbie Hyde fight. And after I watched that Herbie Hyde fight for like two or three times, man, like you know. The weirdest fucking sensation, like you know, the weirdest thing, like you know, happened to me. Uh, I had this, like you know, I had this, like you know, strange feelings of um, of uh, of uh. Okay, so I got knocked out by Herbie Hyde, but yet I'm being asked by a major boxing publisher to write about boxing, and I'm like. That's a fucking win, man. Yeah. yeah. That's a win. <laughs> that's a win, man. Right? Yeah. That's- I'm like, holy shit. And, and dude, like, you know, I, 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 I dived into, like, all the ugly shit. You know, um, uh, I don't know if I got too personal about my father, like, but, like, you know, like, you know, but, you know that's a place that, like, uh, boxers come from that place is ugly shit. Yeah. It has to be ugly. You know, Muhammad Ali, like, you know, had conflict with his father, but, like, you know, he couldn't admit it. Mm-hmm. I can admit my shit. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not like you know disparaging Muhammad, but like you know, you know, to like you know, for, the only reason why I'm so vocal about the shit with my father is to free me of the of his bullshit. Well, you, well, it, funny, funny enough, your your relationship is closer to Sonny Liston, yeah. Yeah. With his, with yeah, his, oh yeah, with yes, his father, that's right. Whatever. Yes, that's right, that's right. Although, like you know, Muhammad's um. Father, like you know, if you watch the uh, Ken Mers documentary on Muhammad, man, um, uh, Muhammad says that um, no, no. Uh, well, the documentary, like you know, reveals that at one point Muhammad's father, like you know, cut him on the goddamn leg because yeah. Muhammad had intervened uh, in, uh, into uh, intervened uh, an argument with uh, Muhammad's father and mother. Mm-hmm. You know, so like you know, like so like you know, boxes, like you know, they come from like you know that 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 place of like you know. Um, dysfunctional things with their fathers, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. I'm not fucking Freud. Yeah, you know. <laughs> that's why. That's why I wasn't a great boxer. <laughs> because that, you're not that, Freud. And that, and that, and the fact that I'm that I'm very weak, I can't do pull up. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I get to do, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. But but now, but now, yeah. Now that you've like you know writing took you to a place where you're working, yeah. you're working with people like Mickey Rourke, man. Like, yeah, who I really admire, man. Mickey Mickey Rourke is like misunderstood. Yes, uh, he's really misunderstood guy, man. Yes, that's it. Like, really, he's a really tough guy, really great yeah. actor, you know. You yes, know. right. But, sensitive, like super sensitive. Super sensitive. Like, you know, yeah, yeah but like you know, like, I've, I've seen people like dissing him, and like you know, he's he's a tough, right. he's a tough guy, man. Yeah. He'll kill you, but he's like you know, I don't know. It's it's interesting the way, I mean, the way people think they see celebrity, and then they right. you know they sort of right. like portray him as a bit of like a you know, yeah, I don't know. They dismiss him as like nothing, but he was in like. Great movies with Kim Bassinger and that, but he was also, he was like, also, you know, he was also a boxer. Yes. And he fought well and he trained That's right. like people like James Tony. That's right. And great fighters, man. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, like boxing, James, like, boxing, like, yeah. I mean, I, like, you know, like James, like, you know, did you see, um, um, you saw Ali, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And, uh, James with Will, Blake, with Will like, Smith, in case there's any casuals who, who want to know about like Ali, it's yeah. Ali Will Smith. The Fresh Prince of Bella. That's it. That's it. That's <laughs> it. And James Tony, I think, um, I think is 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 a uh, was the best uh, Joe Frazier uh, in the history of like you know Joe Frazier biopics so, or like you know yeah, Joe yeah. Frazier being portrayed by an actor. Yeah, exactly. I just man, like you know, man, man, James Tony, James Tony. The only bad thing he ever did was go into MMA. 
because yeah, James, but, yeah. James, James Tony was like an amazing defensive fighter. Yeah. Okay, but like you know, let's 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 uh, touch on that uh, comment you made about the uh, MMA. Like you know, why do guys like James Coney, uh, like 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 dive into MMA? Um, James, like you know, like you know, there is no uh, comprehensive uh, health plan or like you know, comprehensive like you know, um, uh, uh, financial plan for boxers. In the states, yeah, yeah, I don't know if you guys have one over in the UK, but like you know, there is no comprehensive like you know uh, insurance or like you know healthcare or like you so, know money. So, so, so he, did, he just did it for money, or of course, yes. I, yeah. I, I, I like I didn't know. Like I just thought, yeah, like, yeah, I just, man. Uh, like I, for me, he's one. Of, <laughs> he's again, he's a bit of a like he's one of the, the greatest fighters of all time. Yes, but he's exactly. like. Like yes. again, he just kind of like, like this MMA thing. People like think yes. if, if someone wins in MMA against a boxer, that they're a better fighter. But right. it's, it's just a, it's a right. sports, man. It's like it's like it's like it's like it's like, it's like, it's like, it's it's like Mo Farah racing like Hussein Bolt. It's just a, what race right. people racing. It's just a, it doesn't mean anything. That's it. That's people, that's people, people who don't understand fighting, you know, no. you know, people go in a street fight though. MMA is more more passable, but it's not like because you. <laughs> you were uh, uh, Sonny Liston in the Muhammad in, Ali in movie, yes. yeah. yeah, with Will Smith, yeah. You were, in, you, you were the choreographer for a million dollar baby. Yes, sir. You were the world heavyweight boxing champion. Yeah. 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 And I also directed the off Broadway play about boxing in 2011 and 2013. Exactly, man. And you beat one. And, of them. and I'm being uh, uh, giving a, uh, um, a honor, an honorary degree from Harvard. Yeah. This summer. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm mostly. No, no, no. I'm lying about that. I lied about that. That's not true. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm most, in, most, in, most important, man. I fucking love you, man. Honestly. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I love you I too, man. Is- <laughs> yeah. And and you run into uh, Michael Ben Tamasa hello. What? You run into Michael Ben Tamasa hello. Tamasa said hello. Okay. You run? No, you you run into it, Michael. Is this Jamaican? No, 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 no. <laughs> if you run to Michael Bent, right, tell him yeah. Michael Watson said hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's the red one, man. Hello, Michael Watson. <laughs> 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 